Well, after we said goodbye to October this past weekend, we're welcoming November with a fairly cold start this morning. In fact, we're going to see those temperatures throughout most of the week. Highs only in the 40s, and most importantly, we're going to stay sunny and dry, but I'll also see those overnight lows drop below freezing almost every night this week for a much cooler start to the month of November. Now, speaking of those temperatures being cold, we're down into the lower 30s, upper 20s in some spots, 28 degrees in Mount Morris and Roscoe, so definitely feeling cold early this morning. Get your car starters ready. Grab those winter jackets if you got them because we are in for a very cold start to November. In fact, this has also prompted a freeze warning that does expire at 9 a.m. this morning. So going to see the potential for a killing frost and freeze throughout the area. Even if you aren't in this warning, you're still going to feel those cold temperatures as we start our Monday. Now heading through the day, we'll see that sun rise and those temperatures will slowly recover back into the upper 40s for our afternoon, seeing a lot lot of sunshine for our Monday, but definitely a colder and below average start. Now, speaking of those averages, we're going to be below average almost every day this week. In, in fact, almost 10 degrees below average into tomorrow. But by the time we get into the weekend, we're going to be right at average for Saturday and five degrees above average by the time we get into Sunday. So we're below average this week, but it looks like we'll be a little bit above average into the second week of November. Today, though, we got 49 degrees for your high. That freeze warning expires and 9 a.m. We'll see those temperatures bounce back and we'll see mostly sunny skies. A little bit breezy though. Winds gusting up to about 25 miles an hour. The winds die down as we head into tonight and the temperatures crumble into the upper 20s. 27 degrees for that overnight low. Mostly clear, but you'll notice those overnight lows stay within the 20s throughout most of the week. Really almost every night until we get into about the weekend. Still around freezing over the weekend and for your most accurate 10 day forecast. At least we'll see plenty of sunshine this week. So if you don't get a chance to enjoy it today, you will have multiple chances this week, seeing little to no rain chances for the first week of November.